What's up guys? It's another beautiful day out here in the Madison area. It's a little bit chillier, but it's not like crazy, crazy cold. It's a lot warmer than the last time I went on my bike ride and I haven't gone on a long one. So I'm dressed more casual, but we're still going on a bike ride nonetheless. I think, I think I'm gonna take my boots today just to be more casual, nothing super crazy. All right, I'm ready to go. Got a light coat on, got the high vis vest. Always, always, always. If I'm not gonna wear a helmet, I'm always gonna wear high vis, but I'm gonna do both today, cause safety first. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful last day. I think I'm gonna have to take a layer off or else I'm gonna be way too freaking hot. Nice, nice, good day though. Ooh. All right, I'm about two, three miles into my ride. Started off with some gnarly hills, but now we've got some flat terrain. I'm currently riding on the street. I did have bike lanes, but they seem to have disappeared. Google says though that this is a bike friendly road, so I guess we'll find out. All right, I'm about 30 minutes in, six miles. I'm back on a, on a bike lane, which is good. And I think I'm about to get on a trail, which is even better. I'll make sure to grab some footage of that. my first break I have a bike chain and I was riding with it in my backpack I was hurting my back so I stopped and I just wrapped it around my seat post so it's really fucking my seat post up that's no there's no doubt scratching all the paint off but you know what that's gonna make it easier to ride anyway but we're seven miles in feeling good as ever let's see if this keeps going before I have to turn back One of the things I've noticed about Wisconsin compared to Lenore where I was living is how hilly this area is. I've never had to climb and descend so much as I have in the last like two months since I've been here, which is great, you know? It's really good to get used to different kinds of terrains, but I really do like the descent. You get to pick up some gnarly speed. about an hour in uh, let's see just over 13 miles just under 14 I mean I think I'm gonna keep going instead of turning back and see if I can loop around even if it ends up being a little bit more than 30 miles I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that instead of heading back where I came from all right <clears throat> I'm about in a mile, an hour 15 in I'm on the South Commuter Trail now, heading to downtown Madison before I make my final turn back to Middleton. All right, I'm almost two hours in. I'm actually stopping for my first, first break. Um, I did stop at a gas station about an hour ago to pick up some snacks, and I'm finally, I'm tired enough that I really need to stop and eat. So I'm having a Danish and some water. And I believe I got about six miles left, but I think I'm 23 miles in, so that's exciting. One thing I appreciate about Wisconsin is things like this. 
So first of all, the path is paved and it's a bike lane, but look at this. It's a public pump and public set of tools, plus a water fountain and bike racks. Just right off the path. So this is definitely a city that cares about its cyclists. Oh, that was a rough landing, but I'm finally back. Okay, so just over 27 miles, but we're back. Whew, I was a little bit low energy towards the end. I would say the last seven miles were a little bit harder than I thought they were gonna be. Almost had an accident there, but I'm back and I'm ready to start rest. I am back in my apartment. Still got my hat on. I changed my shirt. Probably gonna sit down and rest before I shower because my head, my legs hurt. But one of the things I am going to do is treat myself. Oh no. I thought I was. Oh wait, no, here it is. Gonna treat me to one of these. But you know what, that's today's video. I just wanted to do some vlogging, you know, just because I live in such a beautiful area and I wanna get back to making different kinds of videos. So if you like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next vlog.